Well, today a jury delivered a split verdict in the trial of the man charged in the shooting of federal judge Terrence Berg outside of his Detroit home last year. Now, they found Kevin Andre Smith not guilty of armed robbery and assault with intent to murder. But they did find Smith guilty of conspiracy to commit armed robbery and two felony firearm charges. Let's get to Rod Maloney. And Rod, Judge Berg wasn't in the courtroom when the verdict was read, was he? Yeah, Carmen, you know, this case was all about a crime spree that happened in the city of Detroit, and it was a star pair of witnesses, Judge Terrence Berg, a federal judge, and his wife. And yet the jury stripped that out of this verdict. A very interesting one indeed. As to count two. Robber, a robbery armed a complainant, Terrence Berg, not guilty. And so it went for at least 10 minutes, the court wanting to make certain the jury's split decision was in fact accurate. 23-year-old Kevin Smith found guilty of conspiracy and felony weapons charges, but acquitted on the charges that he shot federal judge Terrence Berg attempting to kill him. Afterward, his attorney, John McWilliams, said it was really a small victory for Smith. He's disappointed that he was found guilty of conspiracy. That's because of his extensive criminal background and the pending federal charges against him. He's likely to spend most of the rest of his life in prison. Judge Berg was not on the courtroom today away at a judge's conference out of state. He testified he thought it was Smith who shot him, but his attacker wore a mask and neither he nor his wife, Anita Sevier, could absolutely identify the shooter. Afterwards, Sevier agreed with him. I think he was there when my husband was shot. I. I'll, I'll let the jury, the jury's decided. Sevier said the incident does not make her or her husband want to leave the city of Detroit. She says despite this crime spree that lasted for five months last year with many more victims, Detroit has a bright future because Smith will remain off the streets. But this young man harmed a lot of people and he's gonna, um, hopefully those people will feel closure. And that was uh, the basic point behind everything she was saying is that there were a lot of other people hurt in this incident as well. And uh, so this alleged perpetrator, she says, is likely to end up in prison. And she says, as far as she's concerned, that works for her. Back to you. Rod, were you able to get a hold of Judge Berg this afternoon? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. I was able to get a hold of him on the cell phone. And uh, he said that the best thing uh, that, that for him was that the jury found Smith guilty of conspiracy and he right. said it was appropriate that Smith was held accountable but he also said he respects the jury's verdict and he doesn't want to undercut its validity so he says he's happy with what the jury came up with. All right our Rod Maloney.